Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Alex Perry, and I'm a filmmaker and content creator from Toronto, Canada. And today, I'm gonna show you how you can use green screen techniques without using a green screen. That's right, you don't have to have a green screen to do these keying effect or the whole green screen effect. So if you wanna cut yourself out of a video and put yourself in somewhere else or a different backdrop, you can easily do that with a couple of these tricks and tips. So a few months ago, I posted a tutorial video on how to create the Avengers Endgame end credit scene effect. So this was the first half of the end credit scene where it showed all the cast over the many years of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's movies, and it highlighted each character with their actor name on screen, as well as a couple of shots that looked a little bit blurry out of focus with these cool light rays beaming through in the background. And a lot of people asked me, how do you do the second part of it, which was the segment with the main Avengers cast. It had each main actor in the front rotating with a bit of light moving across them. And in the background, there was some additional footage of them also kind of soft and blurry with these cool light beams and light rays. So a lot of people wanted to know how they could film this for themselves. So maybe film themselves and put some kind of cool background like that in the back. So. Not gonna lie, I've been putting this off for a long time. I've been trying to find a better way to do it without using a green screen, because I know a lot of you guys won't necessarily have a green screen, so I wanted to make this as simple and easy to do without having to have a bunch of fancy tools and equipment. Now, I know a green screen is not fancy, but nonetheless, not everybody has access to a green screen. So, today, I'm gonna show you a couple of methods of how you can do this very easily. Now just keep in mind that these won't necessarily have the exact same results as you would with a green screen. They might not be as perfect or as clean, but this is still an easy way that you can do this and you can apply this to a huge variety of projects that you wanna work on. All right, so let's get started on the first method. For this first one, all you have to do is set up a tripod and film yourself or your subject. We'll start off by taking an empty shot of the background and then you or your subject can stand in place and then film another shot. Just make sure the focus does not change from the empty one to the one with your subject or you standing in place. Then in After Effects, we go over to the effects panel and search for Difference Matte. We'll then apply that to the subject clip, which must be placed on top of the clip of the empty background. In the effect settings, make sure to point the difference layer to the empty shot. So basically, we're keying out anything that is different between these two shots. So since we have one clip with you or your subject in it, that is something that is different between the two shots. So everything else that is the same will essentially be keyed out. You can play around with a few of the effect settings to fine tune it a bit to your liking, but you don't really have too much control here since this is a pretty simple method. Just play around with it until you're happy with your results. If you notice any holes, weird edges, or sharp edges, just add a matte choker and adjust the settings until it looks right. You can also add as many matte chokers as you want if it doesn't look right on the first pass. The second method is to use a luma key method. You would essentially film yourself or your subject on a dark or black backdrop and just make sure you or your subject are wearing brighter clothing. If they are too dark or black, it probably won't work well. Then you just apply the luma key effect to this clip and make sure the key type is set to key out darker. Then you can play around with the threshold until you have the desired results. You can also fine tune the other settings until you have it exactly the way you want. If your edges are still looking a little too sharp or too dark, you're gonna to wanna to apply a simple choker to this clip as well, and just play around with increasing the choke mat until it looks good. And now you can pop yourself in any scene you want or add a bunch of cool elements behind your subject. And there you have it. Those are two simple ways you can use a green screen keying effect without actually having a green screen. This is super simple, super awesome, and hopefully this helps you get creative with a lot of your projects and be able to add elements behind you or your subject or even inputting yourself into different scenes. You could also use these two methods to create a whole Avengers Endgame's credit end sequence just like in the movie. But I'll get into that a little bit further in my next tutorial. I know you guys really wanna see the full sequence there and how to properly build that out, but I thought that would be a little bit too long for this video tutorial here. So this one here is just the first step in how you can film yourself and get yourself going to make sure you can input yourself into a sequence like that with putting stuff in the background. But like I said, I'll get to that tutorial next and I'll show you exactly how I put together that whole sequence. And that will be all for today. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button down below and also drop me a comment letting me know what you thought. 
Are you excited to be able to use this green screen technique effect without having a green screen? Are you interested in knowing how I put together the whole Avengers Endgame end credit sequence like in the movie? Let me know in the comments down below. Also while you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down there below and ring that little bell notification icon to get notified every single time I drop new videos like this one. There's lots more cool stuff coming your way, so make sure you stay tuned. As always, I'm Alex Perry and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!